you know, a certain level. But you can eat as much carbs and your body will turn the excess carbs into fat. You can eat as much carbs as you want? No, if you eat carbs, oh, just, any yes, extra yes. doesn't get pooped out, yes. it gets turned into fat, yeah, it gets yeah. stored. Whereas the fat gets pooped out, so that's sort of the, again, this is all stuff I learned on, on YouTube, right? That's good. Take it with a grain of salt, but I'll, I'll tell you this much. It's the only thing that's worked for me, and I don't get sick of bacon and eggs. No. And I'll have sausage, you know, I'll have bacon, or I'll have mm. eggs and sausage, eggs and sausage. Like the best sausage. Um, mm. But this guy that, that I'm watching on YouTube, who's like our age, and he's like a monster, right? He's like, well, I eat 18 eggs a day. <laughs> a day. A day. 18 <laughs> eggs a day. It's like... <laughs> Look like they want to, but it's probably still early for her. Careful what you say. Three seconds. Yeah. Go, Lara. How old is she? She's five. Oh, they're both the same age. Yeah. So has he been swimming? No, he hasn't gone in the water. Even at Descanso Bay, he didn't go in the water. Chucked a stick in the in the water. No, you missed rival? You missed the farm? Probably not, eh? Much nicer here. You don't have to deal with rival. Who's rival? Uh, one of our other boys. Yeah. yeah, he had sort of the same problem with, with their male yeah, as I had with rival, my male. Uh, mm. At each other. Day in, day oh, really? Along. Yeah, I mean, when you're on a farm with a bunch of intact girls, in new territory kind of thing. Yeah, if you've got mm. two neutered males, it's usually not a it's, problem. Yeah, you won't have an issue when they're neutered for sure. It's when they're uh, girls. Oh, yeah. So what's happening with the job? Uh, it's okay. You know, it's uh, gets me out of bed, makes me go, makes me go to work, and uh, and it's totally bearable. You know, well, uh, I might be there with you. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna have to get it. These puppy sales didn't work out very well, so I'm gonna be looking for a job next month. Yeah, the ferry. No, at Nesters. Nesters. No, I'm, I'm working my way up to the ferry. Where Dylan works. Yeah. You know my son Dylan at work, eh? No. Dylan? I don't know Looks a Dylan. Like him. Yeah. He's the kid that uh, he unloads the trucks at five in the morning. No, I haven't seen him. But yeah, I may, uh, I may be at Nestor's before. I, I want to try and get at the liquor store, actually. Oh, I don't want to work at the liquor store. I'm an alcoholic. I want to stay away from alcohol. Yeah. So are you doing two, three days at the... Well, three days at the moment. And they want you to do more, probably. Oh, they do, yeah. I don't want to. I don't, I don't even want to do three days. I only want to do two days. Things are a bit fucked up there now, eh, with the cashiers quitting and... All the shit going on. I I don't know all the details about. You don't what's... ask. You just go I'm, to work. I just go to work. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You're still in the deli. I'm yeah. I'm in the deli, and I don't know the I don't know the the supermarket at all. Like people come and ask me where stuff. I have no idea. Do you carry this? I don't know. So are you cooking food mostly? No, time? no. I just I just basically do the orders. You know, somebody says I want a sandwich, I'll make them a sandwich. Somebody wants a sausage roll. Package up the sausage roll. They want meat. The big job, the big, the main thing that you do in that job is cut meat. Right. So I figure I'm the, I'm the meat cutter for the village. There you go. That's how I feel. <laughs> well, like I say, if you can wrap uh, that package properly, that's the that's, that's the half thick. the battle. Yeah. And cutting it, I've already had complaints about my cutting. So. Too thin or too thick? Or? No, I like I would just I've been cutting it and just putting it in a big lump, big pile, and they want it all laid out nicely on a sheet. Oh yeah, if it's if the salami, eh? If it's yeah. if it's the the chicken or whatever, or the turkey, then, but if you get the that salami, they want the sheets. And, <laughs> they want sheets and stuff, yeah. Which, it's, it's nice. I like it that way, too. You, know, <laughs> if you can do it. Better than a lump, but. And, and I love it when people come and go, they'll come and say, I want it really thinly sliced and, you know, just shaved. They say, oh, you, you bet. I don't, I don't change it at all. <laughs> I just leave it exactly where it is. You know, whatever, that's what you're getting, lady. They don't pay me to give a fuck. <laughs> no, they don't. I'm sorry. And it takes forever. It's just a pain in the ass. And then you get, like, I had the worst time. I had, like, six people waiting for me. And this one, and I'm serving this one woman who's going, okay, I'll have 
50 grams of this, 100 grams of that. Uh, you know, it's just, it's driving me up the wall. And, and yeah. There are some fucked up people on this island, man. Oh, and the... Crazy, crazy people. I can tell you, the... Just don't pass it on in any way, shape, or form. But somebody at the who works there, who's higher up, said to me, he's never had to deal with uh, people like who live on this island. That They said they're so stuck up and demanding. arrogant. Demanding. Yep. And, uh, the, you know, their expectations are just through the roof, you know? Oh, Is it, oh yeah. Uh, Usually like the, the women. Re the retirees kind of thing? Or? Mm -hmm. Everybody's retired. Yeah, I guess everyone this has, the retirement has the, the oldest population in Canada per really? capita. Is that right? Yeah. That's oh. like 60% of Gabriola is over 65. Mm. Like wow. It's, it's the oldest population anyway. Should be a lot of money then. Oh, there is. Of money. There's, There's tons of money. Yeah. There's a lot of money. There's tons of money here. But if you have money, this isn't necessarily the place you want to be. So the, it's, mm, it's sort of the right. people that have a little bit of money that, that it's easy want. easy access to the water. Yeah, no, yeah but nice. there's no good boat launch. No good launch. But like if you've actually got money, you're going to be down in Victoria sure. or you're going to be in the Noose Bay or someplace yeah. where there's where the other people with money are. Wait a couple days, Cal. Look at this. Reaction I'm having. I'm deathly allergic to dog sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Seems so. Seriously. That's <laughs> and I didn't know I was until uh, I was breeding. This was like 30 years ago. And I reached down to, to put him in her. And he blew his load on me. And I had like hives on both my arms. I was like, and ever since I've, I've had severe allergies to dog sperm. <laughs> Keep going or you want no, to... I think it's still too early for just yeah. based on the. So basically, what we like to do is um, do three breedings, two days apart. Mm -hmm. So I normally do uh, 10, 12, and 14. Day, ten, day yeah. 10, 12, and 14. So it's from the first day she starts bleeding. So she's been bleeding what seven, seven eight, days? Seven days. Mm -hmm. So she's probably just a little early. Yeah. Um, mm. Come back on like Thursday or something. She should be good. Yeah. So um, Wednesday even. Do you want to wait two days from today and then yeah. just go two day every two days? Yeah. That's and if she doesn't that. do it, then I go every day. Like yeah, so I'll wait until she gets the first one. Basically. Yeah. So I'll go. I'll go two days. So I'll come back on Wednesday, and then if it happens on Wednesday, then I'll do two days after that. If Friday, it doesn't happen Sunday, on Wednesday, yeah. then I'll try Thursday. If it's on Thursday, I'll try Friday. So. Yeah. Basically, this is all it is. She, uh, yeah, she's... But you're working Tuesday and Friday? Uh, Tuesday and Friday, yeah. yeah. But we it's can probably do it best, It's probably it best matter. to do it here, too. Oh, yeah, Just no, so definitely do no, it here. Yeah. Definitely do it here. Don't have uh, all the other dogs around and everything. Yeah, no, I, I don't... Uh, and he'll be most comfortable. So. Yeah, no, I always find bringing the, the female to the male is, yeah. is by far the best. You see, if we left her here, he'd just fuck the shit out of her all the time. Yeah. So you don't yeah. want that. You have to right watch thing. it. Once it that happens once, you'll know they yeah. die. Oh, really? You wait yeah. like 20 minutes. Oh, because they get nodded? Yeah. Yeah, oh. they get nodded. And then, and, uh, yeah. But, uh, and then after that one, then you wait two days. Then you wait two days. Okay. So his sperm will live seven days in her. Oh, yeah? But her eggs, when she drops, only live like two days. Hmm. Get it going here. I'm sorry. Close. You want me to try tomorrow? You want me to wait two days? I'd wait two days. Still. Okay. She, she's still bleeding a lot and it's mostly red. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, All right. I don't think she. And with her, her heat's weird. Like, it, it, like I said, it, it might not even be until. Like she might not be ready until like almost two weeks in. Just because she skips a huge Well, if, if, you know, if he gets it but in... But she'll we'll, be here anyway. We'll yeah, know. we'll do it yeah. every two days, you know, and, yeah. and, uh, and uh, see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right, Laro. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to work. That's uh, 96, I think, yeah. you're down there. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll... Uh, I'll, I'll, um, what's a good time for you on Wednesday? 
Uh, well, I prefer in the morning. Okay. Like nine, so I think it would be perfect. What? That's well, morning. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> you going somewhere? <laughs> well, yeah, it's when, I don't know. I'll find somewhere to go. Take it to the beach, take it to the park, you know, see something. <laughs> Get out of bed till 10. So. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, what time will work for you then? 10. <laughs> Alright, 10. 10 on Wednesday. Sounds good. Okay, cow. Okay. It's fine. Wait, wait a couple days. Laro, hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's looking good. Oh, oh. Looking great. appetite's good. Mm -hmm. uh, he wolfs his food down. It's wonderful. He likes it. And he eats it. He sleeps in your bedroom? Yep. Every night. And he hasn't been bitten the room? He hasn't been, no, he hasn't been bitten anybody. Oh, why don't you show her your den? Laro, go on. Oh, I'm, I'm glad that uh, I killed you, Alex. So oh, good. Oh, great. Thanks. He's helping me to lose weight. I've lost 10 pounds so far. Nice. Yeah, I find the dogs are good for that. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah more often. Yeah. But I'm still having trouble. I, I feel like 35 pounds is a lot. lot. That's yeah. I, I feel a lot better. Uh, you look fantastic. Yeah, no, I, uh, I want to lose another 10. And, and uh, like I said, I still feel fat, but I don't feel bloated. Like it was actually just the bloating that was, uh, you know, and then the... Then, then, Man titties too. Yeah. <laughs> kind of gross. Uh, All right, Cal. Oh, the neighbor's got a nice boat now, eh? Yeah, he sold it. He's been he's been kicked out of the house. It's they sold the house, so he's been kicked out. So they sold it. Sold? Yeah, the boat's everything's sold. Oh shit! What's he selling the boat for? I think he sold it for six thousand, five or six thousand. Jesus. That'll too much or too little. Too man. little. That's a nice boat. Well, it doesn't. Uh, the house is sold and he's yeah. He's bought a property in Cornell. Oh, 